While in the intensive care unit, your family member may be on a breathing machine. This will mean that they cannot eat or drink. Instead, they will be given nutrition through a special liquid that provides a fully balanced diet. Nutrition in the intensive care unit is important and must be given in the right amount and type. It works like medication and is called nutrition therapy. Nutrition therapy has many benefits and can improve healing and recovery, reduce the risk of infection, and reduce the length of time in the intensive care unit. There are different ways that nutrition is given to patients in the ICU. Tube feeding is used to feed the liquid directly into the stomach or intestine. Intravenous or IV feeding feeds liquid directly into the blood. Sometimes a combination of both tube and IV feed is used. Tube feeding is a standard part of care in the ICU. It's used if the patient's stomach and intestines are working. As they get better, they may start eating by mouth along with the tube feeding. If the patient's stomach is not emptying properly, there may be gastric reflux or aspiration, where the contents of the stomach move backwards into the food pipe or enter the airway and lungs. This can lead to problems such as pneumonia. The healthcare team will help reduce the risk of this happening by giving medication to help the stomach empty faster, raising the head of the bed, and moving the feeding tube further into the intestines. IV feeding, which is a tube that delivers nutrition directly into the bloodstream, is used if there are stomach or bowel problems or tube feeding is not working well. IV solutions are made up carefully using a sterile process and patients are monitored closely for side effects such as high blood sugar or liver problems. When a patient is able to breathe on their own and is awake, the healthcare team will encourage them to begin eating and drinking. Some patients will continue to have tube feeding as well until they are able to eat and drink enough nutrition. If needed, a dietitian may recommend a special diet for your family member based on their needs. It may take some time before your loved one is eating well. You and the healthcare team can monitor them for swallowing difficulties or poor intake. Proper nutrition in the ICU is an important part of helping your loved one recover in the hospital. By staying informed and asking questions, you can help the healthcare team provide the right care and ensure that your family member receives the nutrition they need to get better. If you have any questions about nutrition therapy or are concerned that your family member isn't getting enough nutrition, make sure that you talk with a doctor, nurse, or dietitian.